Thank Wednesday you. night prayer meeting service here at Lighthouse. And we're such uh, a joy that you're able to tune in and Wednesday night prayer meeting service. Our pastor will come around in a second and he will give us a message from God's Word. But it's uh, just uh, awesome to, to be saved, uh, to be born again. And we thank the Lord um, for the Lord Jesus, for God's gift, His Son Jesus, that died on the cross for our sins. The third day, now, the of the Father. We thank the Lord for that. We ask that you'd come out and be with us Sunday o'clock. We, we want to ask you, um, as you tune in to our video tonight, that you would share the video, share it with your friends, and uh, we just uh, pray that the Lord uh, have something on the table for you that say it was been good to uh, listen to God's word tonight. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your blessings. Lord, we thank you for your grace. Lord, uh, we thank you for our salvation. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity we have to come, uh, Lord, by the means of video tonight, and Lord, be able to share. We thank you for that. We thank you for our pastor as he uh, comes and breaks the bread of life to us today. We ask God that you would anoint him, and God, just fill him afresh and anew, Lord. And Lord, we just uh, praying, uh, Lord, for our country. We pray for those that, uh, Lord, are in the storm. Uh, Lord, the path of the storm, we just ask for protection. Lord, we, we thank you for... And Lord, we pray for our law enforcement. And Lord, we pray for our first responders. And then, Lord, we pray for our government, Lord. And God, we just uh, pray uh, for unity there. And Lord, we know greater is he that is in us in the world. Father, we thank you. And Father, we'll praise you for what you do. Uh, Lord, in this time, in Jesus' name, we ask. Amen. And uh, I thank God for all the ones that are listening tonight, and I hope it'll be a blessing to you. God is so good. Uh, you got up this morning, He's been good to you. Every breath you take, He's responsible. We thank him. You know, and I want to let you know that this uh, week uh, on Sunday we'll be starting Sunday school by Olians, and that'll be uh, the 18th verse in the, in the second chapter, second chapter, 18th verse. I'll we'll read one verse of scripture there. And I, tonight, if you're not, you got an opportunity. Meet him in the next few minutes. All you need is him. You don't need me. Amen. I'll save you, but I tell you the one that can. Yes. And I hope and pray for a Christian. Therefore, uh, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once again, but us. so good to us. Say that soul's closest to hell, and Lord, let us use your speaking in Jesus' name. Understand something. The devil don't always fall in Timothy. Now, if you're going to do anything for God, you've got to be established. Yes. You've got to be established. You've got to be made firm in the gospel. I'm going to tell you one thing that worries me. I've seen people in the excitement mm -hmm. and not grow in the Lord, but then all of a sudden somebody say, well, that, that young man can preach. Yeah. And God, he'd say, God called him to preach, and then it don't last very long because the excitement's gone. I believe you got to start somewhere, yeah. and, and you start by using to do something for God, to learn yes. something. And to, and to do some work around the church, and then God will, will call you to in the mm -hmm. ministry. Yes. He might have you teaching first. He might have a Sunday school class or a class, but you have to be established. Yes. Or God or the devil will try to move you. He'll move you into where you don't need to be. Mm -hmm. 
uh, out in the world. Now, uh, how did Paul establish uh, uh, them? The man was Timothy. He sent Timothy in there, and he was a man that God used, and Paul could trust him. He could study God's word. Yeah. He, 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 he let the people know that there's nobody perfect. That's right. But God let him show that he could be a Christian. And what you need to do, what we all need to do, become Christian. Mm. Maybe they just got saved, haven't been but a few weeks or something, maybe a few And they need to grow. So what you need to do as an older Christian Adopt one and help him in the word. Amen. God will use you to strengthen your church. He'll use you if you feel that you got you got to be uh, now Paul wrote him a letter in the third chapter, third verse, built upon now uh, it was a warning in there to watch out for the afflictions of this. Uh, but uh, you know what? He told him, don't forget of what's ahead of you, but forget that behind. Yep. Listen, the doctor will try to Amen. get you out of the world yes. if you don't watch it. If you look uh, close enough and you you, you, you can uh, you can worship an elephant, you'll find somebody that would elephant in this world. He wrote them a letter and told them that they needed to be true to the Word of God. Now, Paul ministered the Word. He reasoned with the people. Yes. He, uh, he, he didn't debate them. He reasoned with them, but yeah, he let them see that God's the truth. He opened up the Word and explained the Word. Amen. You know what? That's a big thing in our mind. We need to explain the Word to see what uh, their job is. He preached the word. Mm -hmm. He gave the gospel. Yes. Now, Philippians 4, 3 says, uh, help the children to understand. Yes. Now, that's, that's great because we need to take time and help younger Christians. Say something the way that the world is today and with the virus. I pray for the And then you, you got to tell them the scripture. Yes. You gotta let them know what's right. You know what you can. They got a, a Bible uh, that, that fits you if you look at because it, yeah. it, it they take the words out, put other words in. Yeah. I call it a Bible for the modern day monkey because that's that's about what it is. Those uh, old King James sixteen eleven will. Saved on this thing, and I believe it's good enough for him. It was good enough for me. Amen. I believe. You know, we got we got to be absolutely a, a surrounded with love. We got to preach the whole gospel of Christ. I know that, and so you have to preach heaven. You have to preach hell. You have to preach the good parts, yes. but you got to let them know that you love them, Amen. and. and Now, and, and they have for Jesus. Growing in the faith. Yes. You know what? There's, there's a lot of times I look back and see some of the childish things I'd done when I was a young Christian. And I look back now and I realize I'm in the faith like I should have yeah. been. Mm -hmm. Or I wasn't attending a word and praying like I should have been. Yeah. But I see now where, where I made mistakes at. And I, I want to go. I won't be able because things that I've preached and I've studied for the last 40 years are truly today. Newspaper and see the Word of God. I mean, it, everything that's happening today is lining up with, with. I'm looking forward to Jesus coming back. Amen. The lady told my wife time, uh, Cindy made the statement, I sure would like to come back. That lady said, I don't want him to come back. I got a lot of living to do. Well, listen, I, I got very good on the other side. I can't wait to get it. And, and you know what? I can't wait. A good friend of mine, he, 
and uh, we used to be trout fishing partners. We go up to Cherokee, and we, we and, and you know what? I, I, when I get there, I'm gonna spend a few million years with you. A golden fox. We got Benny, and we're gonna go down by the river of life, and we're gonna fish for a few thousand years, yes. and, and we're gonna time and reminisce of what's gonna happen. Yeah. We're going to go sit around the throne and just ask when you gave, God, how was it when you gave your son for my 